morning ladies and gentlemen greetings welcome again to revelation in focus uh, today we want to look at uh, revelation 1 uh, verse 8 but just to recap last week we had a grand time as we uh, were able to unravel the secret rapture we were able to discuss and prove from scripture that the secret rapture did not originate with the disciples, did not originate with Jesus. We found from scripture that it is a last day deception used by the father of lies, the devil himself, and a disciple of his, that's what I want to tell you, uh, John Darby, who was the pioneer of this lie of this secret rapture and so ladies and gentlemen we were able to go into the scriptures and prove to you that the coming of Jesus is no secret it's a grand event that the world will see and that the world will witness a power of God never before manifested and today ladies and gentlemen will be no different we want to focus on Revelation 1.8. With us today in studio, with us today in studio, we have uh, Brother Union, Brother George Union, Brother Edward Mentor, and yours truly, Brother Cleveland Hudson. Today is going to be an interesting study as we journey through and discuss this important subject. Revelation 1 8 says, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, the first and the last. Brother Union, Brother Mentor, who is the, this Christ figure? This Christ, this messianic individual who seemingly has impacted uh, significantly on Earth's history. To the point where our entire history is based on this one individual, B.C. and A.D. Who is this person? Uh, Jesus himself. Jesus himself asked his disciples, Who do men say that I am? And so today we want to <laughs> have some fun as we discuss this. Who is this person? Uh, as we go into the scripture. Is he God? Can we prove from scripture that Jesus Christ is God? Uh, can we prove from scripture that he's man? What does the Bible have to say on this? And it's a, an interesting topic that we can, we can discuss here. Now I know from John 1, John 1, John 1 says, John 1 verse 1 and 2, it says, in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god the same was in the beginning and the god. same was in the beginning with god yeah now uh we have promised our viewers in television land that we will not use scripture in isolation scripture on scripture and last week we found the scripture that says uh, a line upon line there a little here a little so revelation 19 13 says that his name is called the word of god mm -hmm. so we are establishing here that this word a not a name a, a another name for christ christ is also known as the word mm -hmm. john 1 says he's god Mm -hmm. The word is God. And Revelation 19.13 says, His name is the word. Uh, Hebrews 1.8, Hebrews 1.8 says, and this is interesting because the Father himself is addressing the Son. Thy throne, O God, is from everlasting to everlasting. A scepter of thy throne is a scepter forever. So this is interesting. The Father is calling Jesus God. And we have established that John 1 says the word is God and the word was with God. 
you want to make a comment on this aspect of it um the fact that jesus is god yes um that's that's what scripture is teaching that's mm -hmm. practically what the bible is saying mm -hmm. that god is not a a single person to say not a single but god has uh more than one person mm -hmm. is a godhead uh, so jesus christ who became who's this, known as the son mm -hmm. he became incarnate in human form mm -hmm. all right so but he's known as the word of god mm -hmm. he is the living word mm -hmm. the bible is the written word and if we look at what the bible focuses on mm -hmm. you'll find that jesus christ is a central theme of the bible mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. he's the he, he's the he's the main figure mm -hmm. what 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 the godhead does through him mm -hmm. to save humanity is basically what the bible is about mostly mm -hmm. so so he is the living word and the bible is the the written word now i like that you're saying the living word so in essence this this Christ figures is is basically the spokesperson right. for 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 the Godhead because he speaks he communicates with man. Last week we did look at that scripture in Hebrews. God who sundry times spoke in the past by the prophets had in these last days spoken to us by his Son. His Son spoke to us on behalf of this person that we understand to be God, the best manifestation of the character of God. Yeah. And so the Bible is saying unequivocally that jesus is god yeah the um, word is god yes and um and and the speaking here is not only about uh like how we might be uh speaking here as in words mm -hmm. but it but it speaks also about it it, it refers <coughs> to a lifestyle mm -hmm. the, the way he lived mm -hmm. uh, the, the characteristics he displayed and exhibited yes, yes. all that is, is is bound up in this um god speaking to us yes um i think i would like to interject something here mm -hmm. um this business about jesus yes what occasioned jesus so to speak mm -hmm. um and we shouldn't miss this point yes why did jesus have to come why was th this jesus why Jesus came? Why he had to come? What, what, what occasioned his coming? Mm -hmm. To save the world. Yes. You see, if, if there was no sin, Jesus would never have to come. Yes. So let's look at it from that perspective, right? Definitely. Now the next thing too. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Understand? But um, Jesus had to die or he died and who don't believe? Brethren, I, I, I'm asking a question to the whole television audience out there who can improve on God's method of salvation is he says so yes he said here the wages of sin is death mm -hmm. and because he loved us he didn't want us to die so he formulated the plan and this plan is questioned over and over and over again by a lot of people a lot of religions mm -hmm. this is God's plan yes and he's the CEO so to speak yes yes, yes. With <laughs> so the foundation of this thing is Jesus had to come yes because that was God's method yes and who could improve on that no so now we could continue yes. <laughs> understand. so yeah. so we can establish from scripture he is God of yeah. course numerous scripture numerous texts speak to yeah. that yeah. now we want to look at another attribute since we're talking about this divine nature of Christ the fact that he's God uh, can we establish that he's also creator? You know that one of the attributes of God, one of the one of the manifestations of, of divinity is the ability to create, yeah. the ability to bring life into the world, the ability to do things, to to create what what wasn't there before. Yeah. Uh, can we identify scripture that clearly depict Christ as creator? Um, yes, um, Colossians 1.16. Mm -hmm. Colossians um, 1.16, right. Speaks about him, speaks that um, he created all things. Mm -hmm. Without him was not anything that we see now exist that is created. Without him, there was no creation. Right, right. All right? So, which, which speaks that he was part and parcel. Mm -hmm. Every wit, 
involved in the creation of all things. What I like about that scripture, and I'm glad that you mentioned that, not only does the scripture establish Christ as creator, but look, look what, what it says. All things were made by him. It gives what things? Visible and invisible. Yep. So that even the angels, yep. the, the beings that our naked eye cannot see, Christ created those. Yep. The word of God is clear. Invisible and visible. Um, and it goes on to say that all things were made by him and for him. Yep. So that uh, he, he not only created all things, but they are made for his pleasure. Yeah. For his service. Yeah. That's what the scripture is going is, is taking us. I remember also John 1 3. John 1 3 goes on to say, All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. That's right. Without Christ, we would not be here. The world would not be here. Right. Okay. Um John 1 10 says, He was in the world, and the world was made by him. Yep. And the world knew him not. Mm -hmm. The person that walked among us, the person that the disciples have handled, interacted with. The lowly man of Galilee. The lowly man of Galilee. The carpenter's son, as they said. Right. Isn't this the carpenter's son? Was the creator himself mm -hmm. of heaven and earth? In flesh. In flesh! You understand? Um, this is interesting. We, we, can, we, can, we can even go on to talk about another attribute. Immortality. Yes. Does scripture speak to Christ being an immortal? Can we can we talk about that? Um, Brother Mentor, can, can can we talk about Christ being immortal? Uh, yes, I, um, yeah? That, um, well, the Bible speaks that he existed eternally. Mm -hmm. Right? Um same Colossians chapter one verse seventeen mm -hmm. um, said he's before all. Before uh, all right, things. Right, right. And um and, and in him all things consist. Right. Right. And um, the Old Testament prophet <coughs> Micah, mm -hmm. when he spoke about Christ coming, the, mm -hmm. the Messiah coming, he, he, he speaks about you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, mm -hmm. though you were little among the many in, in Israel, yet out of you shall he come unto me, who shall be ruling in Israel, mm -hmm. whose who's going, going forth is from everlasting. Now hold on. Can we measure everlasting? <laughs> well, I don't want to <laughs> try to. <coughs> dare try to stretch Attempt. my mind. Because <laughs> my, the elasticity of my mind might just become You might broken lose your mind. <laughs> and, 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 and then I left because without a mind. Because who's going forth is of all from everlasting. So, Christ existed from everlasting. Mm -hmm. Now, can you measure, Brother Union, can you measure everlasting? <laughs> um, it's humanly impossible. Mm -hmm. um, there's a point I wanted to make later, mm -hmm. but I think it's it's appropriate now. Yes, go ahead, go ahead. Um, you think it's possible to put all the oceans of the world into the Demerara River? No, no, <laughs> that can't happen at all. Well, no. But brethren, does what we're trying to do, does what the world trying to do, understand God in its entirety, in its entirety, Can't where God come from, who make you. That's stupid, brethren. You know, it's like, it's like a person who, who went only up to a first standard. Mm -hmm. But you want, you want to study Performing university. An no, no, table. no. You <laughs> want to take university studies. Mm -hmm. Impossible. You only got an ABC uh, uh, for standard Level, education. So, for brethren, when we try to know God in His entirety, uh, uh, listen, I think you said it earlier, the secret things belong to God. Yes. And that which is revealed are for us and the, yes. and, and the generations. Moses, the right? man of God, made that expressly clear to the children mm -hmm. of Israel. No, 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 look at this here. What are we doing here? Revelation in focus. Why are we doing this? What occasion this? Mm -hmm. Because listen all these services on the air whatever whatever there's a book that people shy away from mm -hmm. that's why we decide to come and do this yes right well we st we stated earlier mm -hmm. so no. so we understand this book what we got here yes 
much more trend. <laughs> but, but we, oh, come on, get real. I understand. Really. Making a dollar out of 15 cents. Yes. It's not possible. Yeah, it's yeah not because possible. We, um, be, and God is mysterious, uh, is very nature, you know. Um, if we can really wrap our minds around God and can circumscribe God and, 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 and put him in a box, or, or then he will cease to be God. Mm -hmm. You know, he, 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 he is beyond our comprehension. Mm -hmm. Even science said that we only use about 5% or 7% of our minds. The, the prodigies use about 7% of their mind. The regular folks use about 5% of their brain capacity. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying to you that even if we were able to use 100% of our brain capacity, mm -hmm. even then I think we would have a hard time grappling with God and who he really is. is. But, but, so we but, just got to deal with what, what he has revealed through his word. Mm -hmm. Moses said, it is for us and for our children. And I can remember a scripture saying, speaking to that, when God said, look, as the heavens are high above the earth, Man. so are my ways not your ways. Now I have, I have, I have tried to conceptualize that, that, that distance. Mm -hmm. The heavens <laughs> high above the earth. <laughs> my understanding is mm -hmm. that that space has no end. <laughs> now, if God is saying that in, in, in comparison to a space that has no end, so is his ways not your ways and his thoughts not your thoughts. You understand the magnitude of what he's talking about? That you cannot begin to come close to understand this person that made time, mm -hmm. made matter, mm -hmm. made space, now, for you to make time, matter, mm. and space, you got to be existing outside of mm. time, matter, and space, yeah. yet be in time, space, and matter to control time, space, and matter, to sustain it. We, th this would blow your mind. No. You see? But you know, I thought this came to mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. There are those who say <coughs> that Jesus was just another man. Mm -hmm. I can prove them wrong here now. Mm -hmm. Could... could could, could the blood of an animal take away sin? No. No. Definitely not. Could could another human die for us to take away sins? Definitely not. So when God said he raised a sin is death, is he eternal death? He's so eternal so so, death, exactly. so it had yeah. to be a member the God had to come. Create himself, yeah, definitely. You see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And right now, I ain't interested whether it's the second, third, last, fifth, or twenty-sixth. <laughs> but the point is, a member of the Godhead had to come. Mm -hmm. Because only, oh, only the precious blood of God could take away sins, right? Yes. So animals couldn't do it, you understand mm -hmm. me? Mm -hmm. uh, 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 and so God had to come himself, okay? Be beside and, beside mm -hmm. the law that was broken, the disobedience That's right. or the disloyalty mm -hmm. that, that um, Adam and Eve displayed was not towards humanity. Mm -hmm. It was towards God, yes. the Creator. Was with He, His law, His character, was was taken for granted. Yes. And so is only one on par with Him can. that can really atone and Ransom. make it right. That's right. That's right. That's mend right. that bridge. That's right. You know? And so while on that, uh, we can establish therefore that Christ is immortal. Yes. Um, he existed before. Um, we, we, we learned from, from John 10, 15. He says, I have the power to lay down my life and take it up. Now, exactly. which human being can do that? Right. If Christ is just a normal man, which human being can die and get themselves back up from death? Um, well, that can't happen. Um, I once heard about um, <laughs> one man in Guyana who tried that. Mm -hmm. He claimed to be a prophet and, and he told his congregation after three days he will be raised from the dead. Um, I think the farthest they said he ever went is that he rolled over in the in the freezer. Oh no! That's as far as he get to reviving. Oh. Mm -hmm. But the person died and never rose again from the dead. Uh, so for that to happen, you have to possess a power that human beings do not, do not, not possess. Have. I so cannot go and, and guarantee. I cannot guarantee. That you could that I could finish this program this morning mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because you my breath is exactly. not under my control exactly exactly right? exactly and so the the, 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 the the various theories and understandings that that people talk about mm -hmm. out there that um that 
Christ is just a normal man. It, it, it's, it's, it's false. A normal man can lay down his life and take it up again. But, okay. But, but you know, folks, you know, somehow, somehow I'm feeling like um, a George Jonah in the bush. <laughs> when you find a vein where gold making, yeah. you want to stay in the vein. Yeah. But I like this vein here. You know, I find a vein here. God is by me a vein. Yes. So, 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 um, animals can't do it. Another man can't do it. So God in his infinite wis wisdom mm -hmm. formulated, formulated the plan to send, you know, and, and I, while it's you're on that, while uh -huh. you're on that, we should have, we should establish mm -hmm. to our viewers mm -hmm. that planet Earth yeah. was was created based yeah. on this the plan of salvation, yeah. and that is why Christ mm -hmm. is called the Lamb slain from what the, the foundation, foundation of, of the world. <laughs> so, in other words, without the plan of salvation, sin did not take God by surprise. Mm -hmm. Without the plan of salvation, there would be no creation. Creation right. is based on that plan. Right. That should man sin, mm. there will be a substitute. Right. Yeah. Our, our, our Definitely. Creation, yeah. 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 And here, mm -hmm. who, which human being, who has the authority to second guess God, the, you know, exactly. the Creator? And check this out here now. Mm -hmm. Suppose Jesus didn't come. I don't think we would, <laughs> we would not be having this conversation. <laughs> but, um, Jesus brought light and enlightenment yes. to the world. Yes. I, don't, I don't so, so, even so, want to so, think about it. You mm. see, mm. so we, we Jesus think. came and, and so much has happened, you understand? We, Hold on. If it were possible, mm -hmm. subtract, take away, wipe out all the Jesus cars in this world, where would we be? In utter this, darkness, this brethren. Been, this, uh, 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 utter planet darkness for damnation. All so, of us. Exactly, exactly. Doom. Exactly. So I warning all those who said Jesus was a man, he was this, he was so. Could you improve on that? You can't. No, they can't. No, 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 no. Them saying he was a man is not wrong. But to say he's just man alone, alone. he's mere murder. That, that alone. And right? so, 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 so on that same note, we want to go into a very crucial point. Mm. That Christ is the law giver yeah how can we prove that and this is crucial yeah because uh, you, you rightfully said that only the creator could have could have ran some man of course and only the creator the creator gave the law yeah so can we prove from scripture mm -hmm. that christ was the law giver now let's go to the bible mm -hmm. uh in luke 6 46 this is jesus talking why callest thou me Lord, Lord, mm -hmm. and do not the things I say? What are the things? Uh, he gave the law. He gave the yeah. commandment. And so he's saying, why call me Lord and not do the things I say? Um, mm -hmm. Exodus 3.14 and, and uh, John 8.58. Exodus 3.14. Moses stood by the burning bush. Remember that story? Yep. He says, who must I say, send me. Tell me your name. He says, I am that I am. Mm -hmm. And in John 8, 58, here is Jesus now. Here is Jesus proudly and boldly proclaiming before Abraham was, I am. What was the Jews' response? They wanted to stone him. They picked up because you understand. <laughs> Look, the, 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 the seriousness of claiming to be the I am yeah. is... The God who delivered Israel from Egyptian bondage. Yep. The God who was the pillar of fire by, by night, the pillar of cloud by day. Mm -hmm. The God who smote the firstborn in Egypt. Yep. The God who parted the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. The God who spoke at Mount Sinai mm -hmm. with all the fire and power and the mountain was shaking and, and, and smoking. Mm -hmm. Christ is claiming to be that God. Look, they picked up stones because in the minds of the Jews, that is serious that is something very serious for you to come and claim to be the i am and jesus is saying i am so christ is the law giver yes now this is bombshell he also he also stated that he's lord of the sabbath lord and, and of the, the sabbath, sabbath is part of the law and you cannot you cannot be the lord of something if you're not the giver of it right Sim so so Sim um he's claiming yeah, right. to be the lord of the sabbath yeah and we must say 
it is that same command that establishes God as creator. And so again, we come back to Christ being creator. Right, and he said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Again. Which meaning that uh, not only one, so he, we said commandments, which is plural. So, so he so, is the law given. Yeah. Christ is the law given. This is a point, a pivotal point that we will come back to later in our study with the mm -hmm. book of Revelation. Yeah. And because this has serious implications yeah. that the lawgiver himself gave his life as ransom for the lawbreaker. That's why, that's, why, that's why the Apostle Paul said he is just and the justifier mm -hmm. of them that believe. Oh, yeah. Because the law had to be accounted for. Yes. The law that he gave had to be accounted for. And so he because the law to be accounted for, he is just. Mm -hmm. He answered that law. Yes. And so he became the sacrifice to answer to the, the requirements law. of that law. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. And, and in, in doing so, he gave to us mm -hmm. the free gift of life, of justification. Free gift of sacrifice. So he, he become just and, and just. The oh, man, the, 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 this it's is dynamite. It's dynamite. mysterious. Yes. Yes. There are some things yes. about God we could never know. Yes. And I, I'm saying that. I believe with all my heart and I know that for a fact that we will spend eternity still trying to understand some things the nature about of God, God that right. we will never know. That's right. That's He's right. too big and huge and humongous and, and out of this world. Yes. No, I want to ask a question. Yes. Go ahead. Based on something you said just now, mm -hmm. there are those who believe or who teach and who believe that um, all, all one has to do to be saved mm -hmm. is to do good. Could your work save you? No. But then, if, folks, if, 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 if our good deeds, and which, which one of us got, you know, good deeds? None. If our All deeds have sinned and come deeds, short. This would All have not have come. come short. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So as we count down, we want to touch on this. We can say that Christ was worshipped. Mm -hmm. Yes. Doubting Thomas. Remember yeah. that story? Yeah. Look, yeah. I think to me, that crowns it up. Mm -hmm. Doubting Thomas say, I will not believe that Christ has been resurrected until I could put my hand in the print in his side until I could touch him and hold him for myself. I have not mm -hmm. believe. Christ appears among the disciples and says to Doubting Thomas, come, come and touch and see for yourself. And when he touches, Doubting Thomas falls on his knees and, and declares Jesus my Lord as and my, my Lord, Lord and my <laughs> God. Now, this to me crumbs it out. I mean, there are numerous other statements in the Bible that talks yeah. about worship. The wise men came and they worship him as a babe. And, and, and we have a number of other stories with, with disciples and so forth. Mm -hmm. Mary, they are worship. But doubting Thomas worship him. And so we want to hasten off, hasten on to declare um, the humanity of Christ. One that's of God that's and, a yeah. difficult thing to cover in this short <laughs> space of time. But um, one thing I would like to state that um, in regard to this humanity of Christ, mm -hmm. um, 4 Timothy 3.16, the Apostle Paul said, And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. godliness. Mm -hmm. For what? God, God was, was made manifest in the, in the flesh. flesh. In the flesh. Uh, uh, Hebrews 2.9 Jesus being made Lord and the angels. Yep. Uh, Philippians 2 5. Let this mind be in you that is in Christ Jesus, who taught it not, being in the form of God, but taught it not robbery to be equal with God, but made himself to that of a servant. Mm -hmm. Okay? That of a servant. And then he says in, in John 20 17, I go to your Father and my Father, unto your God and your God. The humanity of Christ came through. The Father is greater than I am. And yes. so on all these occasions, and, and, we and can also see not with not not um, forgetting um, mm -hmm. um, Isaiah nine two. Yes, when he talk about unto us a child is born, a child is born, and a son, a is, son given. is given, and he have so many other titles. Yes, wonderful counselor, mighty mm -hmm. God, everlasting Father, the Prince of you know. So, yeah. so just, ladies and gentlemen in television land, it has been a pleasure. Uh, visiting you again into your homes through this production. We want to let you know that you can send your comments to 611-5843, 611-5843, uh, email 
Revelation in Focus Guyana at gmail.com and the P.O. Box 10 uh, 1617 P.O. Box 10 1617 we want to tell you that Jesus loves you we love you and we want to see you right back here again next week as we continue to this exciting journey on in Revelation in Focus God bless you Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Revelation in Focus. We'll be exploring uh, the truth about Jesus Christ and who he is and um, him being revealed as the word Revelation says. It's Revelation to reveal, to uncover. Why Revelation? Why the book of Revelation? One is the book that's almost totally neglected and yet is the book that has present truth. The message for this time and what you're seeing here this was occasioned because we t we thought that um the book should be taught now revelation in focus hosted by cleveland hudson presented by george union and edward mentor sundays 9 to 9 30 a.m follow us on facebook and youtube see you there